there's a thing that Brene Brown says that if the if people that are making comments about your life or suggestions or um, judgments, if they're not in the arena, then you don't have to listen to their voice. If they're not in the arena with you, basically, if they are not doing the work that you're doing, you know, if they are not working on themselves and pursuing always to evolve and change and grow, then it doesn't matter. They're just like the, it's like watching a fight and you're yelling, telling the, the, you know, the fighters in the ring how to do it. Sure, it's easy to sit in the stands and yell that. But if they're not in the ring with you fighting, then you just ignore them. Ignore the voices. And so for me, I, that's been really helpful. Because that's so I can tell who my people are. If they're in the arena too fighting and they're growing and we can honor each other's journeys in a way of not having to judge each other, but allowing each other to have space to be explore and to be who they are what more of a beautiful gift could could anyone give me and I have a few of those people and I'm really grateful for them and so I remind myself of that I don't need a lot of people I just need a few good ones and I will miss my old connections in my family and you will miss yours and that's just that's just one of the really hard parts of being a human. It's just living with that grief. I love all of you guys. Life is hard. Life is hard. It is not full of dandelions and fairy tales and popsicles. I don't know what I picked, why I picked those three things, but <laughs> whatever it just came to my brain. You know, it's not a walk in the park. There is so much pain and grief that we experience in our lifetime. And a lot of it, you know what? We won't understand why. It may not ever make sense to us. But there is also a lot of beauty. There is so much around us every day that I can so easily forget to be grateful for because I can just get overwhelmed in my pain and overwhelmed in my grief. And I have to remember to come out to my corral even though Shiloh is not here anymore. And I look into the eyes of my new horses and I remember, come on Abigail, never give up. You got new horses to build relationships with. There's new horizons. You're a zebra coach now. I know I know that I've had a lot of losses, but I've also had a lot of gains. And I got to remember to look at those. You know, remember those. And then just sometimes it's not often, honestly, that I allow myself to grieve. Obviously because it hurts so damn bad. And I don't want to think about it, you know. I don't, I don't want to feel the pain. So I just try not to think about it. But I've been trying to get better at, like, really kind of forcing myself to take space and process and feel and let it just move through my body. I don't like to feel sad. <laughs> I like to be happy, but it's important. It's important for me to take time to reflect and process and just allow myself to acknowledge that, you know, I've had a lot of loss and pain and, and that's okay. So many of us deal with that and live with that. And so, I mean, for me, it's, it's healthy for me to give myself space to grieve because otherwise I just run from it and it just becomes this like 
scary thing inside me that I'm afraid to look at and feel because it might just swallow me whole. So if I take time to allow myself to grieve and feel, then it's like I allow my body to release it and then I don't have to keep running from it. And I realize it doesn't swallow me whole. Yes, it hurts. Yes, it's not really fun. But it's also strangely healing afterwards. Like, I feel better. Like, I find myself, like, taking a deep breath and moving it on, you know? And and part of that's, like, allowing myself to just be okay with not being okay. And I think that's really hard for me and probably hard for a lot of us to be okay with not being okay in that moment, you know? So much we're taught to like fix it, get over it, heal it, do it, whatever it is, you know? (laughs) Sorry. But it really is important that we honor every feeling that we have, allow our bodies to process it, and feel and just not be okay and just have hard days, you know? Days where we just grieve and acknowledge the pain. And I think in that, we can be empowered to move on. And no, we don't forget about it. No, it doesn't go away. But I think there's really something beautiful in acknowledging acknowledging every part of the human experience as they're all needed. They're all important. They're all essential to living a wholehearted life. Like why, why would we even say, why would I talk about living wholeheartedly if I can't live with all of the parts? If I can't be sad sometimes, if I can't feel pain, if I can't allow myself to grieve, I'm not truly living wholeheartedly then, you know? So that's really good for me to remember that. And then in, when I allow myself to, to grieve, it's like I also, it's a reminder to me of what I've gone through. And it's almost like sitting back and looking at myself and realizing, wow, Abigail, you, you've come a long way. Look at you. You've been through a hell of a lot. You've come a long way. You've done a lot of shit hard things. And yes, of course, there's always more, but take a moment to look at how far you've come. And then be proud of yourself. Be proud of yourself because you're still showing up. You're still choosing every day to embrace this messy, sometimes very painful life that is mixed with beautiful gifts along the way. I think I'm going to close on that, you guys. I love you so much. Thanks for showing up on this windy but sunny day. The horses have finished what hay has not blown away. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to spring. I'm watching it start to get green, but the grass hasn't gotten tall enough yet. So that's why we're still haying the horses. They, they are really hoping for some grass soon. Oh my, now Sky and Rayanna are having a little bit of a face off here. Ooh, Rayanna's moving Sky out of the way. That's interesting. I'm watching this unfold. I'm not sure if this is on camera or not. Rayanna just moved Sky. That was very interesting. So when a horse moves another horse's feet, basically that means they're in charge. That's how they that's how they tell who's the boss is who can move whose feet more. Um, and usually Sky moves Rayanna out of the way, but that was really interesting. Rayanna just moves Sky, and and also if. If Rayanna challenges Sky, they usually end up in a fight. And Rayanna has started to back down more. Um, she's really young, and Sky's 12, so Sky's definitely got, you know, like experience on her. But man, Rayanna is not a quitter. She's She is hardcore uh, boss mare. She's got that kind of drilled into her DNA. So this will be interesting. So far, they're, 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 they're getting along better, though, now. They used to kick and squeal and hurt each other a lot so I'm really um, and that's why I would like separate Rihanna often I'm really happy that they're at least they're learning how to 
um, they're not friends, but they're they're putting up with each other enough to where they're coexisting. I think that's probably the words I would say for that. How to coexist with each other. So I'm happy about that. Horses like to be in a herd. I don't like to have to separate them if I don't have to. Um, so as long as they're not hurting each other. Anyways, girls behave today, please. <laughs> All right, everybody. I love you. Thank you for being here with me today on this very important day. Please hug yourself today. Please remember it's okay to have days you don't feel okay. And give yourself permission to grieve the pain and the loss. And know that it's okay to miss the people you love, but to not allow them back into your lives. You are beautiful. You are perfect. And I love you. I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to stop by my social media to check out some pictures. I'll get some pictures of the horses today. And uh, yeah, also check out the conference coming up, Leaving the Island. It's going to be good, exciting. And if you want to see a super cool speaker, <laughs> come see me. All right. I'll talk to you guys next week. I love you. Have a great week. Bye-bye.